I wanted to share with you um, how I have modified one of my travel watercolour kits. Now this tin is the Prima Marketing tin and this is the one that I got with my Tropical set. Um, I can show you what the tin looked like when I got it. Uh, this is my Decadent Pies tin um, and it comes with this big sticker on it so I wanted to remove that and it did actually leave behind a lot of sticky marks and the way I cleaned that off was to use alcohol, um, isopropyl, can't remember what it's called, I'll put the, the name in the description but basically an alcohol um, spray that you use to clean with I sprayed on there and that gets the stickiness off really well. Now when you get the tin this one's actually empty because I've transferred the pans into the other one but it comes and it looks like this the pans the half pans are usually in these metal holder bits here um, and this section can actually come out now I I'm not really a huge fan of these sections when I got my Schminke kit I actually took this out completely and I've just got my pans in this base here um, and to help it stick I use adhesive magnet strips so I knew I wanted to take this out so that I could fit more pans in the bottom now because I've got two kits I've got the decadent pies and the tropicals I wanted to have them all in the same kit so what I've ended up with is oops, I've ended up with, I think this is, let me just count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 34, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, yep. Yeah. I've ended up with 21 pans in the bottom there. The pans have the magnetic strips on the bottom to keep them from sliding about too much and it was a shame that I couldn't fit them all in the ones that are remaining the remaining ones I've actually got in my Schminke kit um, it was the gold, the white and the silver it was a shame I couldn't fit them all in but basically this is the maximum amount that I could fit in this tin and what I did with the tray from the middle was I actually decided I wanted to keep this in there as an extra palette space and also to protect the paints and to keep them securely in place just to give me a bit more bit more options really um, so what I actually did was I pulled these metal bits off of this enamel base here now I'm not going to do it to this one in case I want to use this later on but they are actually attached just with some glue and they pull off really easily. So I simply pulled at these metal bits and they came off. Now this left me with a blank insert here. Now this of course fits in nicely on the top but these bits here were sticking up which would have meant that I couldn't shut the, the lids so I just bent them down so what I've ended up with so just twiddle it to get it out there what I've ended up with is a little tray with bent down side bits there that can fit snugly in the top and shut up. So as you can see, it makes a lovely flat extra palette space or because of the flaps bent over here, it actually makes a nice secure area to hold a few papers. What I've actually done with mine is I've used my colour swatches, this one's the Decadent Pies and this one is the Tropicals. I've, I slide my swatch into it there, close it up and there we have it. 
So I'm really pleased with this. I'm glad that I've got most of the two collections in the one tin. It's really useful. And I like that I've found a use for this top bit as well. Um, of course, you can, you can bend this bit back up or you can uh, slightly bend your paper there and you can have it really snug inside. Just have to twiddle it a bit to get it out. But um, there you go. So this is one way that you can modify the tins that are like this, that come with the removable tray. Um, I think that's quite, quite a nifty way to reorganise it and to create a new use for this tray. So I hope that helps you guys.